Hello and welcome to CGTN Live. I'm Wang Tianyu. I'm Michelle. So today we are at the Hall 6 of the Second China International Consumer Products Expo. And this hall is all about the dual circulations, which means that you will see both imported and exported products in this hall. And from what I know, like 80% of the, the products are imported. So today we are joined by Brianna and uh, the director of the Hall 6. So Hi Brianna, guys. welcome yeah. to our live streaming. Hi guys, that's Brianna. And you are the director of this hall. Yes. So could you tell us uh, what is so special about this hall? Okay, so Hall 6 is new added part in the second expo. Uh, it's a thing with dual circulation, global consumption. And this year, more than 400 brands are attracted in this hall. So uh, many things to explore. And so 400 brands just in this pavilion itself. Yes. Oh, that's yes. huge. Yes. Yeah, that's we'll move on a little bit so we can see you. Yes. Okay, and, and uh, I see a lot of duty-free stores in yes. this pavilion, right? Yes. Right. And now when we think about Hainan and also Sanya and Haikou, um, a lot of people think of duty-free stores. Right. It's yes. becoming more and more of a, a tourism popular. consumption yeah. uh, destination and also duty-free a destination. A lot of my friends are asking me to shop uh, for them during my trip. No, I don't. We don't really have time for that. But tell us a little bit about this. Are you seeing a, a, a big increase in demand in terms of duty-free products? Yeah, right. So more and more people are attracted into Hainan just because the free trade for policies. So, uh, just for example, every year, everybody has a ton, 100,000 quota shopping in the Hainan to enjoy the duty-free policies. Okay. Yes, that's well, excellent. 100,000 guy, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, also, you mentioned about the free trade port that's being uh, constructed uh, in Hainan. So, how is that helping to boost consumption uh, in China overall? Well, so first, uh, this is a great opportunity to connect Chinese market and the global market. And the second uh, is a window to showcase Chinese brands, uh, products, and uh, attract more high-end uh, global products into Hainan province, into Chinese market. So just like you mentioned before, 80% of the brands just uh, are from foreign, uh, foreign business. Yes, and 20% are domestic brands. So, uh, Hall 6 is uh, like an A-shaped middle point to connect China and the global. All right. So yeah. are these mostly just different duty-free shops, right? With different foreign brands? Yeah, so mainly three parts okay. in Hall 6. First one, like duty-free retailing. Second is uh, e-commerce platform and the third is the medicine and healthcare uh, industry. Okay. Yes. There are three parts of it. There are three parts of this hall. And, and this hall also has, I, I saw some of the, the Chinese provinces, the, the exhibition center there. So yeah. this hall is, also has some, you know, uh, the, the booths of the different provinces, right? Yes. Uh, many, many things to see just like yeah. this. It's very deep. It's so great. curious because I also want to do some shopping. Um, can you actually buy here or is this more of a touch and feel stores for you to just observe the products and then shop online still? Uh, yes, yeah, so more to touch and feel here and uh, order online because okay. only uh, duty free things only can sell online. Oh, it's like window okay. shopping. It's like window <laughs> right, shopping. Right, right, but right. still, it's good because we really don't have time to go to the duty free store, so this is a great opportunity. But worth the try. Worth a try. And yeah. then what, to, to actually touch and feel the fashion and the feel, the smell the fragrance and everything, right? Yeah. So shall we go to one of the yeah, duty sure. free shops? Yeah, have fun, guys. Okay. Thank okay. you so much Thank for joining. So Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. So okay. let's go yeah. and check out. I'm sure this is going to be exciting for a lot of yeah, uh, female the audience. Uh, this is CDF. is. Of, I think it's the one that you normally use uh, when you come to Hainan. Yeah. So every time yeah. I come here, because I have an app on my phone uh, with CDF. I, I, I do. I do have it too. Right? Yeah. yeah. So I, th I think what you do, like she said, uh, you have a hundred thousand RMB per year quota, mm -hmm. and then you can cut, uh, order your whatever you want on on the app, and then they will ship it directly to um, the airport in yeah, yeah, yeah. your home city. Yeah, right, right. So you don't actually have to carry it with you. Yeah, you can just ship it from your home. Oh, yeah. but, but you have to... It's my... My passion. <laughs> your passion. So we've got... We've 
we've got all these beautiful purses. We have coach over there. We have all these, yeah, handbags. What, what, what do we have? I don't even know how to say the names. There are lots of French names here. Um, I'm not gonna dare to try. And sunglasses up there. We've got fragrance in the back. So this is heaven for me. This is like the highlight of. You know, last year when I when I came to Hainan last year, also yeah. for for this Hainan Expo, yeah. and I carry like 26 cosmetic products. All for for, for, for friends. For a lot of girlfriend. For for girlfriend. <laughs> See, now is a good chance to, to to ask him whether he has a girlfriend. Um, so we've got a lot of fragrance and cosmetics and look at the design of this the flower is moving. It's, it's, it's moving it's beautiful like all the i'm really impressed i have to say this year the show rooms are very nicely designed yeah yeah they're very I international agree. um you can see that people put a lot of effort into making them look really good okay. and also there i i, I talked to some people here and they're all saying that like Sustainability is a key point this year at the expo. So a lot of these materials are used to make these uh, showrooms are all uh, recyclable, recycled, recyclable. Uh, environmentally friendly, which I think is really important, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a major task of China right now. Yeah, is to reduce carbon output. So I think it's really good when all the companies now are focusing on green development and sustainability, yeah. But you can see, as you can see, right, it's very beautifully designed. We've got alcohol Oh, is there anything, the anything you like, anything you want to put everything. in, everything back? Everything, okay, we got to, okay, this is the store we've visited. There are lots of these. I, I, I think there are quite a few of these duty-free stores well, they, they, they are here, right? Some of the duty-free duty Doors like just like this, but I think this one is the it's the biggest the, one. The biggest one, yeah. So let's move yeah, this to... is actually my first time coming to this pavilion. Okay. So I, I know you've been here before. Yeah, I've been here before. So you so better let's show just move me. to another duty-free shop, and okay. there will be something that we can try on there. Okay. See, there's a there's a Lego right there. Wow. I wonder if you can buy Lego here as well. My kids would love this. <laughs> and this is super kids friendly as well. I saw a lot of children actually running around. Oh yeah, I did yeah. see uh, some kids. Yeah. So I think they also thought about like children audience and kind of made these places when I, fun when I for them. I was a kid, I, I, I didn't even have this kind of chances. Yeah, that's actually not too long ago when you were <laughs> <laughs> I should yeah, say thank when you. you say that. I just think of it. Yeah. It's okay, here we are. Okay, so that's called uh, yeah. Times DM. I think it's called Times Time, um, Shenzhen Duty Free. Oh, okay, Shenzhen Duty Free. So here we we have a. Uh, I think we have someone that can introduce us to that um, board. Okay. I see it. Is that a yeah. skateboard? No, that's a that's a ski board. Skate. Uh, ski. Right. Ski board. Ski board. Hi. Hey, hi, how are you? Uh, Michelle from CGTN. Nice to meet you. Okay, so you've been here before. I've been here before, okay. so let's just go there and okay. find that All right. very cute thing down there. So you can actually buy ski boards on, in the duty free now? I, I don't know, I should ask her. First, the spot duty free shop will okay. open um, in Mission Hills in 2023. Where are you located? Um, um, Mission Hills. Okay. Uh, Mission Hills. Hi, Ho. Mission Hills. Hi, Ho. Okay. So, what are the things that you sell mostly? Uh, we are not uh, international sports. Uh, so, you sell a lot of sports equipment? Yeah. Oh, that's great. I've been, I've been to Mission Hills uh, a couple of days ago. There's an NBA basketball school down there. Oh. And there are a lot of, you know, golf court and um, yeah, yeah. football court down there. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know they actually have sports uh, equipment at duty free shop. That's amazing. Can I have a try? I can try? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, my go ahead. Are you sure? Okay. What do I do? She will, she will teach you. Teach me. You want to? Okay, I'll, I'll go first. Just, just uh, stand, stand on it. Chow na. Chow na bia. Chow na bia. Chow na bia. I'm glad I'm, I'm, I'm flat. <laughs> All right. Okay. 
Then the real, then the real so. Resemble the real a, a little bit, like a surfing, a real surfing. It's easier. It's definitely easier. Yeah. <laughs> You told me yesterday that uh, there's a, a way that going on board that you lay lay your body down yeah. and then you stand up. So I would, I would just give it a try. Can you teach me how to do it? Like that? All the way down. Okay. okay. And then stand up. Is that, is that the way to, to you know set, stand up on a sailboard? So this is the way to stand up on a sailboard. When you swim in the area, in the sea, you can stand stand up to. Okay. Okay. All right. So this is how you start it. Like, uh, if you are in, in the in the sea and uh, you go on the board, on this sailboard, and then you lay your body down, and then you stand up like me. I, I can already feel the, the, the power on my on the, on the center part, the part of my body because this is the muscle that you're gonna use when you do this for right. All right. So. Uh, what else? I'm, Michelle, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. Okay, there goes all the golf, golf clubs. Golf clubs here. Um, well, I'm, I'm not gonna give it a try because I'm really bad. Give, give it a hit. To the, to the little one. I know, I know, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I, 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 I. Wait, 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 one more time. One more time. Okay. You got another Something, one. Right? Okay. It's easy. Okay. So you sell golf clubs. You sell ski skis, right? You um, sell skateboards. Yeah, we are not just creating a shop, but a place you can experience um, sports activities. Okay. Yeah. So this is a duty free shop. Yeah, spe specialized yeah. in sports uh, yes, equipment. Yeah. Yesterday, that uh, the duty free shop that focuses on sports products, that is the only one in the world, right? Yeah, the first. The, the first in the world. Yeah, in the world. Okay, so there. Yeah, I didn't know it existed, to be honest. Because, to be honest, um, after the Winter Olympics, demand for winter sports and winter sport is Sports equipment has been going up a lot. Yeah. Um, all sports equipment. For all sports, but this year especially because of the Winter Olympics, um, so many people. I think there's some issue. That's 300 million people on ice now in China. So we've achieved that, right? So that's 300 million people. And skiing is getting also really popular in China. So this is a great way because I ski. Do you ski? Not very often, but uh, I did. Some people might not know about this, but Tian Yu is a very, is a very sport, sporty person, right? Tell us what sports do you do? Uh, yeah, I, okay, okay. I would say I, I, I am a sport fan. And, uh, so recently, I was doing the the, the stand up paddle boarding, and uh, you basically you basically like uh, you you have a board like this, and uh, you have a one side paddle, and you can go on the river or lake, and you just you know. <laughs> Seriously? Okay, so he's the person that's on Liao Ma He. If you're from Beijing, you know what I'm talking about. Um, doing the whatever that's called paddle boarding or whatever, right? Okay. Stand up paddle boarding. So, yeah, so I'm really impressed by this. Um, can we check out the ski equipment? Yeah. I want to see. So I, I got a question. Yeah. We are in Hainan right right now, and this is a tropical island. It's nothing about skiing. So, so are they gonna sell well? Kind um, of people like surfing. Uh, these people also like. What you know? That makes sense because there are a lot of uh, tea. Yeah, but in I, think it's, I think the case is that like China is now like a tourism consumption yeah. destination. 
So a lot of people come here um, for the beach, but then in the winter they also go to like Tongli or Japan to ski. Okay. So then while they're here, it's about the prices, right? Because it's duty free, so it's less expensive, I assume, than the normal stores. Shop. Right. Uh, so the price is uh, we have profit um, is very. Uh, the, or do you mean that the price cheaper. is cheaper? It's cheaper. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, the same with cosmetics, right? Like, so when people come here for their summer vacation or for their, um, I don't know, May holiday vacation to Sanya or, yeah. or Haiko, yeah. they, they buy their skis back. and then they go, yeah. yeah they ship for, them home. So I think the market is huge because actually, um, someone just told me yesterday, because my husband's from Belgium. So they're like, do not underestimate Hainan because Hainan is actually bigger than Belgium. So if like Hainan, it's, it, the oh, Hainan okay. island oh, okay. is bigger than Belgium okay. in terms of, I guess, land and population. So if you think about it, right, if we really boost the consumption market and make this into like a really uh, vibrant um, tourism consumption destination with all these duty-free shops, it, it gives a big boost to the overall Chinese consumption. Um, also, it's a great window for all these foreign brands to come to China, enjoy the duty-free policies, and then also have they have really great logistics system also for them to uh, for transportation and such. So it's really a great opportunity for foreign companies and also great for Chinese consumers. Yeah. Apparently, a lot cheaper. So. Yeah. But, but how cheaper it is, I want to know. <laughs> I want to know too. So that, we'll, we'll find out in a bit. So you just say this, we're in the supermarket buying these skis. Outside, if you buy it outside, how much is it? How much is it? So she said it's a secret how much cheaper it is, so you're going to have to go and check it out yourself. But some of the brands are only at the duty free shop, so you cannot really buy it anywhere else in China. Yeah. You know, All right. It's you. fine to ask us to you know, find out ourselves. Yeah, yeah, we are. Because <laughs> we're like some fans, potential so. customers for you. Yeah. All right. Also, all right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's check out other places. Thank you, thank you. All right. Also, I think another thing is because of the pandemic, a lot less people can actually shop overseas, right? right. So like, because we don't really, I haven't been out of the country for almost two years. Yeah. I'm sure you haven't been out of China. I, I, actually, I actually don't even know they are like duty-free shops in Hainan before the pandemic. I figured it out I'm, I'm actually last year. I'm, I, I think there was, but I think it's definitely much more popular now because of you know the fact that people can't really shop yeah, abroad. And they also abroad. raised the quota, I think, from uh, three uh, 30. to 30,000 30, yeah. to, to 100,000 yeah. right, for a person each year. Yeah. All right, so here we have. Uh, Well,一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一個是一
auction. So oh, is that real? I, For real? I, I'm sure this is real. He says you have already entered the monitored area. So I think that's gold right here. Over there we have some also very pricey things.这边是拍卖区，有很多。是啊，这边是我们的金属拍卖区，有很多。是啊，这边是我们的金属拍卖区，有很多。是啊，这边是我们的金属拍卖区，有很多。是啊，这边是我们的金属拍卖区，有很多
Uh, I think you guys are bored. I, I'm really having well, a good, what do you good mean time. That you are in the mountain. No, just there's start. yeah, there's, no mountain, and then there's like an ocean underneath, oh, okay. and like mountains on the sides, and then the, and you then you you are really so. I'm like stumble. Yeah. <laughs> in the real world, you're like stumbling. It's like this, but you feel like you're actually there. It's sort of like a virtual reality. Yeah, sort of. That's how VR try. works. Yeah. Oh, you try this. I have no idea how to play this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's why you made me try the other one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you try this. Uh, told you I've been here yesterday. What is the game about? This game is about what? Uh, about life. Okay. So we all can. Uh, so follow the instruction that I'm. Yes. I'm jogging. Uh, you can go. Okay. <laughs> what? Is, what is this for? This is a game or this is a workout? It's good. It's like a workout at home. And then All right. Like you're making points on, on your head. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I think you just keep doing that. It's good. It's a great workout. Whatever. All right. That's how I get more sweat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On my shirt. Oh, look how how he's all wet here. Yeah. You can see through his shirt, but he smells great. <laughs> no, he was doing a stand up outside. You know. It's super, super hot. Okay. You probably can't tell, but it's like super hot. Okay, okay, okay. this is fun. This is super fun. humid. So every day we're soaked. He's totally oh. wet. Are you gaining? Oh, you're gaining points here. Oh, I see, I see. I think I got oh. the technique. Oh, workout. All right, I, th I think that's it. That's it. I gotta stop here. <laughs> Before we faint, you have um, sweat coming down your face. It's because this this room is a little bit hot. It's really hot. Okay. Okay. No, we can go up. Okay. 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 Okay.
That's a great thing. Okay. So, so you say, come to here, the customers can come here to experience it, right? Okay. So, this, this expo, for you, is what? Is it你说再说一次，sorry，刚才没听见。一大亮点，对，是我们展区的那个一个亮点。就这个吗？对对，整个这个展展，这次在海南做展的话，对你最京东来说，呃，这意义是哪些？因为它是我们在刚刚结束的
no, it's your other one. Sure, Mark. Picking up. Sure, Mark. What's that? Go for it. The Tishi Er is what? Yes, it's our Tang Zhu Shi. It can be used to improve the environmental cleaning, that is, to reduce our human work. This is also part of the JD logistics, so yeah. it helps uh, kind of um, separate the parcels in the chain, right? Of sorting the parcels and so, so it's like decrease before, the... So like before, before there are people doing this job, yeah. and so now it's all about robots. Yeah, they're, they're helping to, reduce to improve the labor the efficiency. costs of JD logistics. Too good. Too good. 货物放在上面，然后这个货架上面想，呃，想要哪一个货物就可以，它智能的筛选出来，送到我们人工的手里，对，非常方便。Very smart. All right. All right. I think uh, we we gonna just uh, stop here. Thank you so much. All right. Where else shall we go? Shall we try that way? Okay. He's he's right in my face again. So right. let's just go to the, the last uh, exhibition center and uh, we have already been doing the live stream for, for like almost 40, 40 yeah. minutes. So let's just go to the, the final stage. Okay, where is that? Where you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know. Let's just show them around of what we have, right? Another duty free shop or okay. some Maybe food? Maybe some local stores. Local. So we've seen the duty free shops. Right, and we've seen JD.com. Are you a are you a food lover? I'm a foodie. Yes. I think I see. I <laughs> I I cannot resist the temptation from food. So see how many foods are down there. Province, Shandong, Shandong province, province, right? So we got like specialties from different provinces. It's like a Shandong. Famous for for the pancake. I'm actually my grandparents. From my dad's side, is actually mm. from Shandong. All right. Where are you? Uh, Jiangsu province. It's Jiangsu. just next to Shandong. But you're tall. What do you mean? Is Jiangsu <laughs> supposed to be tall? Like I know Shandong is supposed to be tall. Like people from Shandong are tall. I, I, I don't want to be racist. It's not racist. It's just different, different province. But people my, have different my, my body dad, types. My dad is from uh, Jiangsu province. Okay. And my mom is local in Beijing. Oh, she's from Beijing. Yeah. Okay. All right. Lao Beijing. Okay, this is Dezhou chicken. Pazi. Pazi. <laughs> My camera guy is like, it's called Dezhou Pazi. <laughs> <All right. Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's lychee from wherever that is. So a lot of local foods. From different. There's Jiangxi in front of us. And then there's Shanxi on this side. Yeah. What's about al alcohol. Specialties, I guess. Yeah, they all have the specialties of their own like province. So Jiangxi on this side. There are some China down there. Yeah, vases. That's they're pretty. Some painting. So basically you will see the, the most uh, famous products in their province that are uh, in the booth. Oh I like these things. Whoa. Let's check it out. Is that, is that free food? <laughs> oh, it's not food. They're, they're, I don't think they're real. I think they're it's not. No, it's not. They're it's, real? No, wait. they're not real. Is it? No, I think they're fake. Oh, it's fake. It's fake. Look, look. Yeah, Chen Yu was so excited. He thought <laughs> it's free food. But it looks yummy. Look at that. It looks so real. This is the black chicken. It's supposed to be really good for him. So these are the, where is this from? Jiang, Jiangxi. Jiangxi, okay. So Jiangxi specialty. Jiangxi food. Yeah. I've been there, I've been there once, the capital city of Jiangxi. Have, have you ever been there? No. Oh uh, yeah? So they, I, I know that one, the, the soup. The soup is the, the is little pot. Soup? Yeah. Oh, the small soup. Uh, I think it's the most famous dish in Jiangxi. Wow, now I'm hungry. Imagine that these are all real and free food that we can, you know. So, shall we check out the decorations? Let's go.
Oh, they are for sale. Look. How much? Is it? I'll show you guys. Okay, so this is six, 168. 168. Be careful. Be careful, please. <laughs> Chang, you thought the camera guy was gonna hit the hit the base. <laughs> no, I'm not responsible for this, okay? Yeah, China has always been like a very like attractive a soft thing. Power, soft power. Soft power, for yes. China. Oh, very famous. And worldwide. that's what, what Jiangxi is famous for. Is it? Yeah. I didn't know. So they make? Uh, there's one. Jingdezhen? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. Alright, so I guess right, so, uh, they're telling us to wrap it up. Time is up. They are telling us to wrap it up. So I guess we are kind of approaching the end of this live tour. It was fun. It was really fun. I mean, it, it hits all. Actually, I mean, the the switch, the twist switch thing. <laughs> yeah, see, see, he's all like. And uh, I would just hope for the 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 food is real. <laughs> yeah, I know. I wish there was like more food that we can taste throughout the wall. And then, um, but yeah, it's nice. I mean, now we know that we can check out the duty free products before we order them online. And then there's all these different provinces showcasing their specialty, so it's pretty fun. So this is like the, the third day of the second Haida Expo that all the exhibition booths are open to, uh, are, uh, are open. Yeah. So they are, I, I think, think they tomorrow is open to the public, right? Today is still to not. But there are two days to go, right? Yeah, there are so two more days, we, but tomorrow is starting to open to the public. But as you can see, right, even though now it's not open to the public, I'm sure in the past half an hour you saw that there are so many people here. Yeah. I think the first day was 48,000, and then yesterday it was 53,000. So there's more and more visits to these places. And but they just are like, professional buyers? They're buyers, they're... Um, media guys. They're like media, us. there's uh, also people participating in the yeah. exhibition. So I think there's also tickets sold to people who want to actually, yeah. I don't know. But anyway, it's, it's very popular and I'm really impressed with like the design and, and, and um, the whole sustainability concept of this expo. So, Try to follow us, CGTA, on any social media platform that you can ever think about. Twitter, Facebook, Weibo, and we will bring you more coverage about this Haida Expo. Yeah, and stay tuned because there's two more days to go and there's some more pavilions yeah. that we're still going to We'll still have some visit. live streaming. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot more coverage on this Expo. But for now, we're running out of time. So thank you so much for being with us for the past 45 minutes. And then we'll see you very soon. See you Bye. Later. Bye.